ask them back to your place to listen to some music or because you've got some great tape for your VCR because you've got some terrific unknown Django Reinhardt record when all you really want to do is fuck, which you won't do very well, after which you'll go to the bathroom and pee very loudly, then back in the kitchen you grab yourself a beer from the refrigerator without asking me if I'd like anything, after which you'll proceed to lie back down beside me and confess that you've got a girlfriend named Stephanie who's away in medical school in Belgium here and that you've been involved with her off and on what you call a very intricate relationship for seven years! <laughs> Not of which interests me, mister! Okay! <laughs> so do you come here often? Uh, every other day, I think. I come here all the time. I don't think I've ever seen you before. We must be on different schedules. There's connections. Yes, different time zones. Yeah, it's amazing how I can live right next to someone in this town and not even know it. I know. Yeah, we probably pass by each other outside this door all the time. Yeah. City life. It's crazy. The waiters seem like they're a different time zone or something. I can't seem to locate one anywhere. Waiter! So what do you? Uh, I beg your pardon? No, it's nothing. We must be on different schedules. Misconnections. Yes, different time zones. It's amazing how you live right next to someone in this town and not even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. You weren't waiting for anybody before I came in, were you? Actually, I was. Boyfriend. Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? My husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't waiting for anybody before I came in, were you? Actually, I was. Boyfriend? Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? We were meeting here to break up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's a sort of boyfriend? Uh, my lover. Oh, here she comes now. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't waiting for anybody before I came in, were you? No, nah, just reading. Sort of a sad occupation, isn't it? Reading alone? You, Friday night. Do you think so? Yeah. I mean, what's a good looking woman like you doing alone on Friday night? Uh, trying to avoid life like that. <laughs> you weren't waiting for anybody before I came in, were you? Nah, just reading. Sort of a sad occupation, isn't it? Reading alone on a Friday night? I guess it is in a way. I mean, what's a good looking woman like you doing alone on a Friday night? No offense. I'm out alone on a Friday night. For the first time in a very long time. Oh. You see, I I just ended a relationship. Oh. Of rather long standing. I'm sorry. Well, hey, listen, since reading alone on a Friday night is such a sad occupation, how about we go somewhere else? No. We could, could do something else. No, thanks. I was just about to head it out to the movies if you wanted to come along. I don't think so. It would be a great chance that Faulkner catches the breath with all those long sentences and everything. Thanks anyway. Sure thing. Look, I appreciate the invitation. Yeah, okay. You weren't waiting for anybody before I came in, were you? Nah, just reading. <laughs> sort of a sad occupation, isn't it? Reading alone on a Friday night. <laughs> I guess I was trying to think of it as existentially romantic, you know? <laughs> Cappuccino, great literature, rainy night. That sort of thing only works in Paris. How about this? Uh -huh. We could catch a late night plane, get us a Concorde, find a cafe. <laughs> I'm a little short on plane for tonight. Darn it, so am I. To tell you the truth, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along since you can't seem to locate a waiter? Uh, that, that's a really nice offer, but the thing is... Uh, girlfriend? Two of them, actually. One of them is pregnant, yeah. and Stephanie is... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend. Now you mean a castrating bitch or dumb last night? Yeah, I'm talking to you! <laughs> sort of. Sort of. What's a sort of girlfriend? My mother. <laughs> I did a relationship oh. of rather long standing. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, this is my first night out in a while, and to tell you the truth, I feel a little out at seas. So you didn't stop to talk because you're a Mooney or because you've got some weird political affiliation? Nope. Straight down the ticket Republican, straight down the ticket Democrat. Because let me explain to you my political views. I like to think of myself as a citizen of the universe. I'm unaffiliated. Oh, that's a relief, so am I. I, I vote my views. <laughs> Uh, labels are not important. Labels are not important, exactly. Take me, for example. Who cares if I got a 2.0, 3.0, 4.0 at college? <laughs> or if I'm from Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Westchester County. Sure. I like to think that a man is who he is. A person is what they are. A person is who they are. I think so, too. Who cares if I'm Meyer Trotsky? Who cares if I have a full body liposuction? Who cares if I don't have a penis? Who cares if I join the Peace Corps for a year? I'll sure. my convictions. Yeah. I like to think that. I like to think you can't just hang a sign on a person. Absolutely. You know, I'll bet you're a Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was headed to the movies after 
before I finish this section. Would you like to come along? Yeah, that sounds like fun. What's playing? Oh, a couple of the really early Woody Allen movies. Uh-huh. You don't like Woody Allen? I, I like Woody Allen. You're just not crazy about Woody Allen? His early work's kind of getting on my nerves. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You go ahead. I'm sorry, um, I was about to say, I was about to head out to the movies in the theater. So was I! What are you on the festival? Just up the street! Do you like his early ones? I think anybody who doesn't, I'll be run off the planet! <laughs> How many times have you seen Bananas? Eight times! Twelve! <laughs> so do you still want to go? Do you like Edmund's crumb cakes? I went out at two in the morning last night just to get one. Did you have, like, an Etch-a-Sketch as, as a kid? Yes! <laughs> do you like Brussels sprouts? No. I kind of think they're disgusting. They are disgusting! Do you believe they're despite current sentiments against it? Yes! And children! Three of them! Two girls and a boy. Harvard, Vassar, and Brown. Who you love? Yes! And cherishing? Yes! Do you still want to go to the movies? Sure thing. Waiter! Waiter.